If you're looking for a platform to build your website, if you're looking for a website builder, you've probably come across Squarespace. It's one of the top website builders out there and it comes right up there with the other big hitters in the space such as Wix, GoDaddy, Shopify and even WordPress. You're probably wondering in that case, is it the best website builder for you? Well, in this video, we're gonna go through the pros and cons of Squarespace to help you decide whether it's the right platform for you and your business. First of all, we're gonna get started right with the pros. Now, when it comes to Squarespace, it's very, very easy to get started. As soon as you're in, Squarespace offers you loads of beautiful ready-made templates that you can easily start off your website with. This makes it really, really easy to go from zero to one and get your website out there so your business can start making sales. What this means is you don't have to pay loads to a website developer to build your website. You can just go to squarespace.com, click on get started, click a template and there you are. Your website is pretty much ready to go. Now moving on to the second pro of Squarespace, it is the all-in-one platform. When it comes to making a Squarespace website, 90% of what you need is gonna be found within the Squarespace dashboard, which again means you save cost, you save time, and you're able to get your website onto Google ASAP. As you can see here, this is the Squarespace dashboard for my website, SEO Space. It's been really, really easy to get a website out there. And as you can see, we're using this for the build of SEO space, which is our website, which has a complete list of free resources around Squarespace SEO and also a Squarespace SEO plugin. Now we've chose Squarespace specifically because we've got a lot of expertise in this area, but also it's the all-in-one platform. Not only can we get domains within Squarespace, but we can also get our Google workspace, which means we can get a domain, get our email, and get a website up there ready to go so we can start getting customers and start getting people towards our website. And this is gonna be really, really helpful because if you've tried out platforms such as WordPress before, it's really, really complicated in terms of getting domains, getting hosting, connecting it all up. You don't have to worry about that. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform and you can go all the way through from start to launch all within Squarespace which flows really, really well onto the third pro, which is Squarespace is really easy to use. Not only is it an all-in-one platform, but as you can see from the dashboard, it is very, very intuitive to use. It's all laid out in a way where you can easily add pages, you can easily add a blog if you want to. It's all built in and you can all do it within the Squarespace dashboard. It's really intuitive and that's one of the reasons why I recommend Squarespace as the go-to platform for 95% of people who want a website because even after you've launched it's going to be really easy and intuitive to make any changes and you may or may not be sitting here with bad experiences with websites in the past. You may have had a web designer which charged you an arm and a leg every time you wanted the change made. With Squarespace you don't have to do that. It's intuitive, it's all in one, and it's very easy to use. Now, moving on to the fourth pro of Squarespace is I personally believe that the support and the community is fantastic, especially when you compare it to other platforms. It's really, really easy to hop over onto Facebook. There's plenty of Squarespace communities and groups that you can join and ask questions and in general, get help from a load of Squarespace experts and on top of this there's also the Squarespace forum which you can go through and ask questions on a variety of different topics where you're going to have experts answer you and there's even people directly from Squarespace which can provide support as well if you ask for help in the SEO part of this forum you're likely to get help directly from me so there's people that are really really willing to help out and provide value back to the community and I think this is fantastic because especially again I keep coming back to WordPress you can tell I hate it there's loads of people that just want to sell to you in this community people genuinely want to help out each other and while some people may not like the Squarespace support itself I found I've never actually needed it because I can go to forums on whether it be on the circle website or on Facebook to get help directly from people that we need. And on top of this, you can even go to bespoke gated communities such as our SEO space, SEO community here, which you get instant access when you subscribe to our Squarespace SEO plugin. So there's plenty of spaces out there, which if you do want a little bit more bespoke support, you can get access to that for fairly, fairly cheap. 
Now we've gone through the pros of Squarespace, let's go through the cons. And the first con that I see people say is that Squarespace is fairly expensive. When you consider things like hosting, when you consider things like the plan itself, the pricing can add up. When you look at the pricing plans themselves on Squarespace, you can see that the personal one is £16 per month, which obviously over the course of the year is gonna add up to £192 per month, which is fairly expensive compared to other platforms. You know, you can set a WordPress website for almost free. However, I believe what you get for this is more than enough for the money that you pay. And, and in fact, I recommend people go for the business plan, which while it is a little bit more expensive, you get things that are definitely worth having, such as the advanced website analytic. However, some people do think this is a con because obviously, let's say you have a website for 10 years you may go through different versions and different iterations but you are going to end up paying thousands of pounds for it which if you're a small business may not be something that you want to go for but again what i would come back to is the value that you get for that i don't think there's many other platforms and website builders we get that much value however it is a con that you may want to consider and maybe top up the list for you now moving on to the second con of squarespace and this con actually ties on to one of the pros you know, I mentioned earlier that one of the pros of Squarespace is how easy it is to use. One of the negatives that comes off the back of that is Squarespace is less easy to customize compared to other website builders. While the templates itself are very beautiful, one of the problems of this is it can be difficult to customize. So if you're looking to create a really custom website, Squarespace may not be the best option for you. And as I mentioned in my WordPress v Squarespace comparison video, which you can find as one of the links in the description, if you're in that top 5% of website builders that has experience, that knows how to access that customization, then this is really going to be a con of Squarespace because in my opinion, you really can't achieve this. For example, with WordPress, you have a whole marketplace of loads of different plugins that you can add in that are not only going to allow you to push the boundaries with WordPress websites, but it's also going to allow you to get that extra customization that you may want to achieve. Now with Squarespace, there are plugin options. There's plugins such as Square Kicker, Square Websites, which allow you to push the boundaries more of what can be achieved in terms of Squarespace design. There's obviously SEO spaces, Squarespace, SEO plugin, but really they're built on top of Squarespace. We can't really access the inner workings of Squarespace too much, whereas on WordPress, it is a lot easier to access that inner, inner workings, achieve top level customization and optimization, which some of you may want to do. However, that being said, I really don't think for many of you watching this video, that's going to be too much of a problem. So Squarespace is still going to be the best option. Now, moving on to the third con, this sort of ties in with the second one, and it's around the lack of built-in SEO functionality. Compared to other website builders that you're probably considering, up until recently, there was very little features in there to find out whether you're following SEO best practices, and also very little to allow you to make data-driven decisions when you're optimizing and improving your website. Yes, yeah, Squarespace automatically creates your sitemap, it's got fields to add your meta description, etc. However, in my personal opinion, there's still a lot more that you can do in terms of allowing people to follow best practices and check all the boxes when it comes to SEO, which is ultimately gonna be one of the main drivers for traffic in the first place. You could have the most beautiful website in the world, but if no one's finding it, you're wasting your time and money. And this is especially going to be apparent because if you have got experience with WordPress before, then you may have used Yoast SEO or Rank Math, which make it a little bit easier. And that's one of the reasons why we've created SEO Space. SEO Space is our Squarespace SEO plugin, which makes it really, really easy to test any Squarespace website to optimize it to follow best practices. And you can either, similar to Yoast, check it for a specific keyword that you want to rank for, or just check for general optimization. And when you press run test, when you run a scan, the plugin is going to give you recommendations of what to change on your website based upon real data, based upon other keywords that you may want to optimize for, and a 22 step checklist that's going to make sure you're following SEO best practices. So even though Squarespace lacks built-in SEO functionality, SEO Space has this covered and you can find a link to this in the description. However, if you don't want to use a plugin, then this is going to be a con that you want to consider that may mean you don't choose Squarespace. 
So there you have it guys, that is the pros and cons of Squarespace. You know that Squarespace is a beautiful website builder that's an all-in-one platform to go from zero to one with your website. However, you also know that it's not that easy to do customization and it is fairly restricted in some aspects such as design and SEO without the use of plugins. However, I am a genuine believer that if you want to create a beautiful website, if you haven't got loads of web development experience, then Squarespace is going to be the best option for you. And if you check out a link in the description, you can also get a discount to create your own Squarespace website and get started as quickly as I have with my websites. And if you did find this video useful, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel where I share lots of Squarespace SEO tips, as well as documenting the journey of growing my Squarespace SEO plugin. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video.